domain name server domain name server resolves names to numbers to be in specific it resolves names to ip address to make you understand easily i'll explain with simple example computer will not have names like humans have computers will be having numbers for the identity that's how computers and other similar devices talk and identify each other over a network which is using such as ip addresses humans have names to talk and identify each other we all know that for communication between computers and human network network engineers developed dns dns is domain name server dns resolves names to numbers to be in specific it resolves names to ip address if you type a web address in your web browser dns will resolve the name to a number because the only thing computer knows is numbers for example if you want to go to a certain website you will open your web browser and you will type the domain name of that website for example let's use www.facebook.com you can type 31.13.72.36 in the address bar of the browser instead of www.facebook.com but we can't remember all the websites with the numbers instead of typing numbers we can let dns to convert the domain name to ip address how dns works when when you type www.facebook.com in the address bar the dns server search through database to find a matching ip address for the domain name when it finds it will resolve the domain name to ip address of the facebook 31.13.72.36 website and once that once that is done your computer is able to communicate with the facebook 31.13.72.36 web server and retrieve the web page so dns basically works like a phone book if you want to search for a number you don't need to look for number first you will look for the name first then it will give you the number when you type www.facebook.com in your web browser and if your web browser or operating system can't find the ip address in its own cache memory it will send a query to a next level which is called as resolver server resolver server is your isp your internet service provider so when the resolver receives the query it will check in its own memory to find ip address for www.facebook.com and if it can't find it it will send the query to next level which is called root server the root server are the top or the root of dns hierarchy there are 13 sets of these root servers and they are strategically placed around the world and they are operated by 12 different organizations and each of these root servers have their own unique ip address so when root server receives the query for the ip address www.facebook.com the root server is not going to know what the ip address it is bad the root server know where to send the resolver to find it the ip address so root server will redirect resolver to tdl server tld server top level domain server so resolver will now ask top level domain server for ip address for www.facebook.com the top level domain server stores the address information for the top level domains such as .com .net .org etc this particular tld server manages the top level domain.com which is www.facebook.com is a part of so w- so when tld server reaches the query 
for IP address receives the query for IP address for www.facebook.com the TLD server is not going to know what IP address for facebook.com so TLD will redirect the resolver to the next and final level which are the authoritative name server so once the resolver now asks the authoritative name server for IP address for www.facebook.com the authoritative name server or servers are responsible to know about everything of domain which includes IP address there are the final authority they are the final authority so when the authoritative name server receives the query from the resolver the name server will respond the IP address for www.facebook.com that is 31.13.72.36 and finally the resolver will tell you a computer the IP address of facebook.com and your computer can retrieve www.facebook.com web page it's important to know that once the resolver receives the IP address it will store it in its cache memory in case if it receives the query from www.facebook.com so it doesn't have to go all through steps again if you if you like this explanation please subscribe to my youtube channel thanks